amazing celebration going on here right now at the Damba Festival. People have come from far and near just to witness this occasion. And I have someone here with me who is going to be telling me how she's seeing the whole celebration. Hello, welcome to Utah. Hi, I'm so happy to be here. It's a great pleasure. How are you doing today? I'm great. Yes. What's your name? My name is Clemmy. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. All right. How long have you been in Ghana? I've been here going on two and a half months. Okay. So how are you seeing Ghana? Oh, wonderful. Absolutely amazing. The energy is high. This is an amazing festival. Very passionate. Great culture. Very rich in colors. Um, I'm loving the smocks. I'm loving the food. I'm loving the dance, the drums. Everything that's happening has been very energetic, very um, exciting. And I'm just blessed to be here and seeing it and witnessing it firsthand. Where are you originally from? Well, my, I'm from New York City, but my lineage goes back to Liberia. Ooh, interesting. We know many people who have uh, migrated to Liberia from Ghana. Okay. <laughs> right. So, are you connected to Year of Return or anything? Not exactly, but indirectly. I mean, obviously, the Year of Return has, bring, has brought many African Americans back to Ghana, which is a wonderful thing because many of us have never even set foot on African soil. And in 2019, this has been my first time coming to Ghana in January for my birthday. I said, out of all the traveling that I've been doing, I must come to Africa. This is where my people are from. This is where my roots are from. And I felt like Ghana was a very great start. And I'm just so happy to have this experience right now. How did you hear about Damba Festival? Through my family, my sister. She's missing right now. She's right there. She's hiding right now. I've been very blessed to have and be with my extended family here in Tamale, which I'm really enjoying. And they told me about the Dakba Festival, and I just had to come and see it. So tomorrow I will be here, and I will have my traditional smock on as well. Ah, I can't wait to see you in your traditional yeah. wear. But so far, how do you see the festival? It's amazing. It's energetic. I mean, um, everybody is full of love, you know, full of happiness, positivity. And um, I'm excited to see what else it, it holds for the night. What are your expectations? I have no expectations. It's all divine flow, all divine energy. So I'm just here riding the flow right now. All right. Thank you very much and have fun. Thank you. I am. All right. Blessings. All right. So this is it. People have come here. It's an amazing experience going on right now here at the Damba Festival all the way in Tamale. And people, there's so much of excitement and I mean, we can only have fun. Drumming, dancing, gunshot, everything you can think about while we talk of fun. This is what is going on right now. This is Utah on City TV. So we are still here at the Damba Festival. Now tonight's event is called Na Damba and it's a gathering of the high and mighty. We have so many chiefs here and I'm privileged to be right next to a chief and he's going to be telling me who he is. Thank you very much. Welcome to Utah. Thank you so much. You are Please, welcome to Tamale. Thank you very much. Please tell me your name and um, uh, which community I'm, you are. I'm Nanton Yarona Abbas Salifu. Okay. The former PRO to the late chief of the Tamale. Okay. And I'm, I'm a, a sub chief of Nanton. Right. And that's Nanton Yarona Abbas Salifu. All right. Now, so tell me what is going on right now. Uh, today we are celebrating one of our beautiful festivals in Tabang, and that's the Tamale Festival to commemorate the, 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 the birth of the Holy Prophet Muhammad. That is what we are celebrating. Today is the name ceremony. 
we, we accept him. Today is the name is of the Holy Prophet. Yes, that's we want to give him birth. And today is the name of ceremony. Today, tomorrow we see that this is off. And that's the good thing. So today is the name of ceremony of the Holy Prophet. And that's why you can see joyous mood. Everybody is so happy. You can see that the whole place is filled up. The whole place is filled up. People are happy and everybody is in there in, in, in his or her traditional regalia. And you can see me that I'm in full traditional regalia. As a and chip. you are looking amazing. Thank you so much. And that's what tells you that Damba is a very great festival, a beautiful festival, a festival that unites us together. You can see that here we have Abu and Antanaba. You will not see it. You will not see the Abu and Antanaba. We are all coming together at the one and we are celebrating it. And that is the Tekoma Pali we are celebrating it today. So now, how significant is tonight's event to the Damba Festival? that it, uh, it unites the it brings the Muslims and the traditional leaders together at one. Because the birth of the Muhammad is a Muslim and the traditional rulers are, 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 are celebrating it. So it brings them together. And again, the is a festival that is so unique. That is so unique. Why is it unique? You will see people, no matter who you are in the society, you try and get a regalia to wear on that day. So the Bay is a very unique festival. And I tell you that this festival, among all the festivals in the ground, is the best among all. I can see that, and you look so beautiful, and I'm sure you'll be dancing tonight. Yeah, I have that already. I have that, but I'll be giving you a beautiful one to capture in your, in your, in your shot. All right, thank you very much. I'll be waiting for that. Thank you so much. Don't come and pick me. All right. So we are still here at the Damba Festival. We are at the Dakwemas Palace. Now Damba precedes the final Daba of the Damba Festival. And what you're seeing right now is that Dakwema getting up to go inside his palace while he has been sitting in state and... His getting up to go inside his palace means that tonight's event, more or less, the Nadamba is being wrapped up. So he is leaving. He will come back later on for the other activities for the night. It's really going to be a long, long, long night. And you can see that there's so much happiness going on. This is the Dambak Festival. What is happening right now is the Nadamba. It's a gathering of various chiefs at the, the, the Dark Famous Palace. So you can see people trying to catch a glimpse of the Dark Pema. The Dark Pema in governance is the mayor of Tamale. So tonight is indeed tradition at play. It's so beautiful, so colorful, and people are really excited. Drumming and dancing, firing of gunshots. That is the Dark Bema in your shop. Get it up to go to his palace. It's such a beautiful occasion. This is the Dambak Festival. What is happening now is the Na Damba at the Dark Bema's palace. We are in Tamale. So you've seen all the pomp and pageantry, the tradition and the culture. This is Damba Festival and this is Utah on City TV. But what is the meaning of Damba? We are here at the residence of a very prominent chief and he is going to be telling us everything we need to know about Damba. Thank you very much now for receiving us. My pleasure. My pleasure. Okay. Welcome to my palace. Thank you very much. Um, Forgive me if I can't get all the words. I, I was told, but un, I mean, unfortunately, I have forgotten the zone. Al Haji, tell me 
Where are we now? Uh, we are at the palace of our uh, residence of uh, the chief Zonlana uh, okay. of the Nanton traditional area. Okay. Mashallah. All right. Thank you very much, Na. My pleasure. Okay. Now I see some people sitting here, Al Haji and one other man sitting in front of you. What is the meaning of that? Normally, a chief doesn't sit alone. Okay. He has his uh, Nazo, or the, it literally means the, the friend of the chief or oh. the chief's friend. Okay. And then any other elder who would uh, be present for the meeting. Okay. So, so we are ready to have every tradition and to observe every tradition that we need to observe. Yes, so it's customarily as you have arrived, I have to give you cooler, okay. which is in this uh, kettle. Can I have the cooler too? And like it is said that he who brings cooler brings life. Okay. So I give you the cooler, take all. Okay. Customarily you have to take a bite. Okay, I will. You know, just a little bit. Very good. And then, you know, give your colleagues okay. portions of the, the cola. I don't have to give him. No, no, he is, he's, he's, he's here. He has access to the rest of the cola. Okay. <laughs> okay. So now, tell us your full name and who you really are. My full name, traditionally, I'm now called Zunglana Mahmoud II. Okay. Uh, I'm a retired colonel of the Ghana Armed Forces. Ooh. I was called, or I am the retired Colonel Mahmoud Tahiru. Okay. And I retired 2016. I was at the Army headquarters. Mm. I was, uh, if, you, if you like, I was the Director of Finance of the Ghana Armed Forces. Oh, then you know mathematics very well. And, and, and finance too. Money is good. Money is good. <laughs> <laughs> Zulana, so we have been observing the Damba Festival. And I must say that it's really a beautiful festival. But when we say Damba, the word Damba, what does it mean? Damba has its roots in the Wangara and Moshi traditions. Okay. You know, most of these are cultural festivals, have religious um, uh, inputs. Mm. And Damba was introduced into Dagbon culture by somebody called Mole, uh, Yidan Mole. Yidan Mole was a Wangara and a Moshi man who came from uh, then uh, middle belt of, the, of, of uh, West Africa. And they were in, invited by one of the chiefs, the Nazanjina. Mm. And through that, they introduced Damba. And then Damba is a Wangara word, means, uh, the, the actual word is Domba, which means mm. big dance. Okay. And over time, it got corrupted, and then now it is known as Damba. Uh, so, like I said, it was introduced by the, the Wangares who brought Islam into Dagbon. Mm. That's right. So, that but, so, so, if I understand it properly, Damba is supposed to be a religious festival. But how did it become a cultural festival? Uh, somewhere along the line, the, one of the Dagbon chiefs, or the Yanas, Nazanjina, accepted Islam and invited these Muslims into Dagbon. Mm -hmm. And like I said, it has religious roots because it is aligned with the birth of the Prophet of Islam. Muhammad? Muhammad mm -hmm. And Damba occurs in the third month of the lunar calendar, mm -hmm. which in Arabic is Rabi al Awal, which in Dagban is called Damba, uh, Damba Gwale, mm -hmm. the, man, the moon of Damba. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, if you look at this, the, the ceremonies, on the 10th or 11th day of the month, mm. we have the ceremonial picking of rice. Okay. And why is it so? It is so because, you know, in those days, they didn't have rice meals to meal the, 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 the rice. Yeah. So we were using stones and other objects. So there was a need to pick the rice that was supposed to be cooked to usher in the birth of the Prophet of Islam. Mm. And that is done on the Sumo Damba. In the morning, the imam would, they would spread some rice and then do the symbolic picking. After which, they would go around the, the symbolic cow that would be slaughtered in preparation of a meal to feed you know, people who come for the, the festival. So the, the Sumodamba actually coincides with the birth 
with the Prophet of Islam. And exactly a week afterwards, we have the Nadamba, which signifies the, the, if you like, the naming ceremony of the Prophet of Islam. Because it happens a week afterwards. So that's the Nadamba, after which the next day, uh, they say we accompany Damba away such that uh, we wait for next year or the, the, the following year to come. So that is how cultural, uh, cult, the cultural and religious uh, activities were, were brought together. You know. okay. now, now tell us about the circumulation of the um, sacri sacrificing of the l cow. How significant is that? Uh, it's significant because, you know, in every festival, especially as you are expecting friends, family to come, and it was going to be the cooking of a meal to feed them. So symbolically, and because it had to do with the Prophet of Islam, they go around the cow reciting, um, what do you call it, blessings on the, on the Prophet of Islam. They recite, Salat ala nabiyuka, Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammad, and you know, seven times, symbolically, after which the, 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 the cow is slaughtered. And it is symbolic because it is invoking the blessing of God. To, to bless, you know, the people that, that, that will come for the, the festival. Okay. So, so how many days is the Zamba festival celebrated? Most of the time, you realize that festivals are celebrated over a seven-day period. Is it the same with Damba? And what happens if it's the same seven days? What happens from the first day to the seventh day? Uh, with Damba, it goes beyond seven days. Okay. On the onset of the month of Damba, mm. from the first to the 10th day, uh, relations of, of the chief or the king, you know, in terms of children, they gather and start drumming and dancing. And we call it Binchara Damba. Binchara means uh, rags Damba because the, the children are supposed to wear the old clothes of their, their parents. To, so they're drumming and dancing from the first up to the tenth, but the climax is the tenth day, when the imam does the ceremonial picking of the rice that will be used for, for, for cooking, and also going around the cow seven times uh, for, for in preparation for the, the, the damba. Right, so yesterday I was at the Na Damba, and today as well, and I saw a lot of people firing gunshots. What does that mean? Maskatri. No. It was scary. <laughs> it, uh, yeah, it, it, it happened. But you see, it has to do with the, we call them the Kambonsi. Okay. The Sapashinima. And they are mainly called Kambonsi because uh, Kambonsi means the Ashanti people. Mm. And it was Ashanti that introduced masketry to Dagbon because hitherto we were using bows and arrows. Okay. You know, so any chief of substance that is coming for the fe for festival comes with his, his warriors mm. who are called the Sapashinima. And they fired the musket to announce the arrival of the king or, or the chief. Okay. So the stronger or the higher the chief, the, 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 the greater the number of musketry that he will fire. Mm. Some will fire seven, some 14, and so on and so forth. Mm. So that the larger the number of the, the guns that you hear, the more prominent the person uh, that is being announced as having entered the festival. Mm. Now. All right. So um, now tell us, um, for a lot of areas, most places today have challenges during festivals because of um, the kind of promiscuity that the young people have introduced into the festival. How is Damba celebrated today? Is it still significant like it used to be in the olden days? Has it lost its meaning, especially where the young people are concerned? Do they still revere the significance of Damba? I think they still do revere the significance of Damba. Because Damba is an occasion where family far and wide come together. And during this period, people are introduced to the other members of the family, you know. So it's, it's a period of re reunion for the family when um, people are introduced to the extended family. And also certain family values and um, traditions are introduced to them. Mm -hmm. So it's still significant. It's even more significant because now with the advent of uh, modernization, yeah. traveling is quite easier. Somebody could take off from a car in the morning, but afternoon he's here. Yeah. 
participate and either leave in the evening or leave the next morning. Mm. So it is still uh, significant. We realize that now um, festivals go beyond just um, being celebrated by the indigenous people. Now all over the country, people understand festivals. When you look at how people celebrate the um, Udra festival, how people celebrate Aquasi Day and all. Now, people also revere Damba festival because even way back in Accra, people talk about Damba festivals a lot and people always look forward to being part of this festival. So what would you tell Ghanaians and the whole world? Because I even spoke to somebody all the way from New York who came to be part of Damba Festival. So what would you tell the entire world concerning Damba Festival and why should people come and observe this festival? Um, the Damba is significant and it's very important uh, because one, it's a cultural event. Two, it's a way of opening up the country for tourism sake. Yeah. You would realize that those of you in Yendi, uh, there was a, the, the, the slave or the grave of the slave reader, yeah. Babatu and Samori. Yeah. They are still in, in Yendi, mm -hmm. you know, because they died there. So it's an event where we relieve history and also you would visit certain historical uh, uh, sites. There were other places where the wells from which slaves were bathed before they were transported through Salaga to the Cape Coast Castle to be sent overseas. So it's important. I advise people, I would urge people to come all over the world. Come the third month of the lunar calendar. And because it's a lunar calendar, it, it varies. You can't say it's in February or it's in March because the lunar calendar and the Gregorian calendar differ. So it's, but it's normally the third month of the Islamic calendar, mm -hmm. the, from the, the first to the uh, uh, 17th day. Very important. You will see the cultural the beauty of the people and also other historical sites. Why should people come? So tell people who are watching why they should be part of Damba Festival. Yes, especially Ghanaians. You yes. know, we always talk of cultural uh, 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 sites and we are inviting outsiders to come. Yeah. We should start. Charity begins at home. Mm. There are a lot of people in Accra who know beyond nothing beyond Nsawum. Yes. You know, so come up north and then see uh, the, the culture and the beauty of the people of Dagbon. Mm. And you realize that we are not that, you know, warlike as it's been you know, portrayed. Yeah. I think you have witnessed our hospitality. I have. You know, you've tried the various uh, dishes, teasers. To own Zafi I love and, it. You know, and, and so on and so forth. Yeah. So it's very important for our own national development. Mm. We need to explore the country, mm. you know, explore the country, know other cultures, and then know our land, mm. know our country. And uh, through that, we can also invite outsiders to come and share with us the beauty of our culture, the beauty of our people, the beauty of our food, and so on and so forth. Okay. So now my people say that when you go to the chief's palace, you should ask for blessings from the chief. So as we wrap up, I would ask for your blessings as I go. Mm. So, now, the Sura. Now, the Mapromo, Nangal Bakano, now, Bunkano, Bunkon, the Ponchel Cano, Mountain Ban Sarat, Bian Lave, Lusson Ban Carna, Laffy, Cano, a laughing number, 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 now, thank you very much. All right, so we've been talking to Na um, Afro Lana Zulana Kennel Tairu of Nantong traditional area. So now you know everything you need to know about Damba Festival. So Damba goes beyond just the people of Dagbon traditional area. It's now a national event for Ghanaians and beyond. So anytime you hear of Damba Festival, make sure that you are part of the 10-day festival and you will not regret it. This is you tour on City TV. <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you.